it's a very competitive environment with the, in the Middle East, uh, but that competitiveness does depend on which country we're in. So our office here in Dubai, we, we cover the whole Middle East, North Africa region from uh, the GCC countries, um, UAE where our office is, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Kuwait, um, and then we move into Jordan, uh, Iraq, Iran, Egypt, Algeria, Morocco. It's a very diverse and very different, each of those markets is, is very different. So some of the things that MLA does to support the retailers uh, to try and grow demand and uh, increase the knowledge around Australian beef and lamb attributes. With retail, we do do promotional work. So for example, with, with Lulu uh, in November, we did a week long campaign or promotion where we, did, so we supported with some True Aussie branding and advertising in newspapers and we did some in-store cooking demonstrations. And for example, that promotion we did with Lulu, we grew, we grew sales by 38% for that week. We did a similar barbecue festival with another large retailer, Carrefour. They more than doubled their sales of Australian beef and lamb. I want to just get an idea for the guys back home, a little bit about what the retail sort of space looks like in the Middle East, okay. because it is really diverse, isn't it? Particularly yeah. around the meat section. Yeah, a lot of our customers like to see the meat cut in front of them. Meat is fresh, but they think it's fresher from the counter than what, what it is when they're buying pre-packed. Oh, pre so you can see there's a difference now between the, the traditional sort of butcher shelf where people can come and uh, get their butcher to cut their meat for them versus the you know, packed ready yeah. stuff to go, yeah. isn't there Gary? There's, there's still a lot, there's still, you know, a lot of customers that basically want a grab and go, they come in, um, they pick the, the meat, the cut that they require, and off they go and finish the rest of their shopping. Australian meat, I would say, you know, in our, in our meat business, it's going to be at least 10, 15 percent of yeah. the sales, depending on, like, the we're, we're still right, the region. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like I say, in the UAE where we are now, in, in Abu Dhabi, you know, Australian meat is it's the winner. Um, customers like it, like the yeah. quality, like the texture, like the taste the help of MLA, you know, to help support us within, you know, the meat industry with the advertisements, um, obviously Chef Tarek coming in, doing cooking demonstrations, um, and as you spoke about earlier, you know, the increase in sales that we benefit from that. Tarek has uh, been employed with MLA now for, for several years. His uh, profile is, is really growing and MLA has helped support him to do that. So he, uh, for example, has done a number of television shows on the largest Arabic speaking cooking network and he's known as the meat man and for, and for us that's fantastic because he just subtly weaves in the, the quality attributes of Australian beef and lamb. Fatter Feet goes out to approximately 55 million homes around the Arabic speaking world um, with an audience estimated around 300 million people. For us that's just a fantastic reach and it can really hit the consumer hard.